Tiffany here with Years of Years, and it's This Day in Disney for August 6th, and we are starting off with uh, English-born American composer Oliver George Wallace. He was born on this day in 1887, so quite a bit ago, <laughs> but he actually did work most of the body of his work. He composed for the Walt Disney Company uh, for film and for an animation and documentaries. Um, so some of his major body of works that you've heard the music he composed for, um, he did work on Pinocchio. He had no screen credit for that, but then he ended up working on uh, Dumbo with Frank Churchill and won his first and only Oscar in 1942. Um, he did the music for music, Victory Through Air Power. The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, Cinderella. Uh, with Paul J. Smith, he composed music for Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, Lady and the Tramp, uh, White Wilderness, Old Yeller, uh, Seal Island, and then also with the documentaries and some of that work for People in Places and the True Life Adventure. So he was an awarded multiple Academy Awards throughout his career, and um, he was named a D Disney legend in 2008. Um, so interesting for those who are Mr. Toad fans, he was the voice of Mr. Winky in the 1949 adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. So I went and checked out the voice of Mr. Winky just to refresh myself. And um, so it was interesting. Uh, it's a, a different voice, so I can see why they would have asked, um, you know, someone to, to provide a different kind of voice. I don't think he did a ton of voice acting, but it really adds to the character. So they made a smart move on that one. Um, so that was Oliver Wallace. And then next up on this day in Disney, in 2009, I thought this was so interesting at Disneyland, I guess, and this wasn't the only time this happened, but um, it was announced that two sisters from Santa Clarita, California have won a contest to spend the night at the Haunted Mansion. So this was a big celebration thing for the 40th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion. Oh wow, I would love to have this kind of opportunity or a contest or something to do something like this. So I, I hope they do this again. They also did something similar a year before with Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, so, but they, I haven't noticed any articles or anything about it, them doing it since, but the Sutton family with their daughters who were the ones who won, Stephanie and Jessica, uh, they'll all stay together in the Haunted Mansion. Um, and these sisters won the contest by saying happy birthday with their dog barking in the background. I really looked hard to see if I could find a video of the winning um, their winning video for this contest because I was like I want to see this video. <laughs> How did they win? <laughs> but I couldn't find I couldn't find it anywhere So if you do, please tell me I would love to to see the video um, I just think it's interesting because <laughs> I mean I grew up with you know when they used to do radio contests when I was a kid um, there was lots of different contests that people could do and you know, there was a lot of excitement around those. So um, anyway, they won it for the radio station 95.9 KLOS, KLOS, maybe in California there. Um, they have received the most votes on the website. So people voted them to win. Uh, so they got to sleep in the stretching room of the Haunted Mansion. So, you know, the the circular room that stretches and Disney had set up beds in there for the girls and their parents and like a little um, sitting dressing whatever table and and it was all very Haunted Mansion-esque <laughs> and they had um, 
some of the ghosts come and visit them. They really didn't sleep, the girl said in a video that I watched. They actually, there was noises, there was stuff going on all night. Um, so the park stayed open for the 40th up until park closing. And then um, they came into the mansion around midnight and they got to tour the whole haunted mansion before they were brought to their bedchamber. <laughs> So just really fun and um, I have so many questions about the the whole experience so I wish it hadn't happened so long ago. I'd love to know more about this experience and why they don't have experiences like that now. I would just love it as I've stated. Um, so they, the girls, both of them got a key, their own key that they could use when, and this is what they said, when they were deceased they would be able to use this key to come back and visit and stay at the haunted mansion. So, <laughs> morbidly cute, <laughs> I guess. So, really fun. Love finding out these things that ha you, you know happened in the past with um, Disneyland and Disney World and all the parks and all the neat and interesting, you know, side things that have happened that you know you really have to live nearby, I think, to experience. Um, but really cool. So that's it for this day in Disney and we'll see you next time. Bye!